Hello, and welcome back to Victoria 3. It has been a long, long time since I have recorded. I mean, you know, nothing crazy, but it has been well over a week, you know, probably around 10 days. I don't know exactly when the last time I recorded was, um, but I, ha I had, I just kind of got addicted last time and went crazy, recorded a bunch of episodes, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta relax for a little bit because I want to... I don't want to permanently have this, like, three, four week long backlog of Victoria episodes. I want to be able to somewhat, you know, see the response in real time and, and, and hopefully, you know, uh, appreciate your feedback and, and, and show demonstrate that I'm, I'm listening and whatnot. Um, so, it might take me a bit here to just try to remember exactly what was going on. We're at war with the Radical Liberia, who is our protectorate. Um, so, it's not like they declared war on us. They declared war on... They're in a civil war. And because we are protecting regular Liberia, we've been sucked into this. And we have uh, General Norbone Bankhead over here. Uh, looks like that's going to go exceptionally well. I believe in our last episode, we took much of central Mexico here. We took Veracruz, uh, the state of Mexico... Uh, Bajio, Zacatecas, and Durango, and Sinaloa. And uh, all that's left is this little rump state here that we will carve up sooner rather than later. Um, but our infamy is over 100. So, although it's barely over 100. So hopefully we can let this dip down a little bit without getting sucked into a cut down to size war. Uh, we are in the process of researching trench works. There's 10 months left. So if we do get, you know, if another great power tries to cut us down to size, hopefully we can just hold the line and defend a little bit. Um, our economy, uh, it's not bad, but it's not, you know, we're losing a lot of money. Although we, 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 we keep going through the cycle where we build up a war chest, then we bleed it out. And go mega into debt, and then and then build back up. You can, I mean, just look at look at these uh, graphs down here. And this is same with our gold reserves. Um, let's see what we're spending a lot of money on. Obviously, it's construction, and mostly steel. Glass is also very expensive. We're building a lot of dye plantations. What else are we building? A lot of dye plantations, a lot of fishing wharves, and a lot of fishing wharves. So I'm gonna say right off the bat, I want to make steel significantly cheaper uh so we need to build a bunch of steel but before i do that let me make sure we have enough iron we also need more glass iron looks like we have plenty of iron okay we're like basically exactly breaking even and we're about to dramatically pump up steel um and we're not getting electric arc process anytime soon i don't think where even is that Arc welding, yeah, that's going to be a while. So we don't really have to worry about overproducing um, factories, because we don't really have an alternative at the moment. So what have we got? Uh, Pennsylvania, why don't you go up to 50? Washington, go up to 30. Hmm, Wyoming, why don't you grab some? Montana, grab some. North Dakota, South Dakota. We'll start there. That might be a bit much, but I also, like, again, if we overshoot on steel, it's not the end of the world. Same with glass, because we're paying for this. So if it's if it's super cheap, that's okay. We can just export the excess. Um, glass. We're running out of people in Ohio. We are running out of people in Ohio. Um, so why don't we do some Pennsylvania, some Oregon. Oh, Massachusetts is going crazy. They didn't used to have that many people, I don't think. But we could for sure get you up to 10 at least. In fact, we could probably get you to like 15. Um, we could get you to 5. And we could get you to 5. And we'll we'll start there for now. Um, we are in the process of enacting compulsory primary school. We're in the process of improving relations with Prussia and Russia. Russia because we're trying to buy Alaska without having to go to war. Although, honestly, we should just go to war. Jesus. Uh, they really don't like us. But that's not their thats their attitude, not their relation. They're antagonistic. They view us as a threatening force. At one point, they were uh, reconciliatory or whatever. Conciliatory, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Um, 
towards us, but then we went and racked up 100 infamy, and now the whole world probably mostly hates us. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I just clicked on. I guess, oh, there was, like, probably, like, yeah, I clicked on this. I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I never, ever, 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 ever want to unpause the game by clicking here. Don't do that. <laughs> um, I was trying to see what people's opinions, not their uh, relations, but their attitude. Yeah. These these two guys, our, our puppets, are loyal. Zulu, I'm assuming, is loyal as well, so is Orange. Who is that? Dar Fertit views the United States of America as a target of conquest. Are you sure about that, man? Is it because we're colonizing in your area? You like you specifically want to colonize the land we have? That has to be what it is. Uh, or you want to conquer the land we're colonizing? Uh, we we are in the process of, of carpet colonizing Central Africa. Uh, we've we've got we've got our our missionaries out there spreading the good word of capitalism. We're trying to basically cuck every European power, but specifically Britain and France. Um, I do. I decided. Uh, over time, uh, I would like to I would like to take Cuba and Puerto Rico, mainly Cuba. I just feel like you know it, like it, it makes sense. Like th this is our sphere of influence. I don't want European powers here. I also would love to take Canada. I also I, I think a couple of episodes ago I was like you know maybe we won't go to war over Canada. I would love to. I think we have the potential to be like so far and away stronger than every other power on the planet. Um, that we, we should we should press our advantage here. But if we do those things, it's going to be a, a bit. We have some other things to do in the meantime. Let's check on our incorporated states. We could... We, honestly, like, why not go ahead and incorporate these? Because uh, we're going to have to incorporate, like, everything at some point. So I think, like, honestly... Incorporate the whole damn world. Um... Almost all of those, if not... Uh, these two will take five years, I think. Yeah, everything else is going to take 20 years. Uh, oh, well, okay, not not this, because apparently it has it's an Australian homeland, which is European heritage, which is kind of funny. Uh, we can't incorporate you because you're a growing colony, but, like, Celebs is going to take 20 years. East Micronesia is going to take 20 years. Surely, like, all of our African stuff that's not even us is going to take... Well, you're a colony? Come on. Yeah, okay. Um, let's check over here. We have a bunch of battalions in reserve. That's going to come up later. I want to build up my army dramatically to where we have reserves in pretty much every HQ. So, that... Uh, let's see where our reserves are at the moment. We have ten in Dixie, six in Mexico, five in Zanj, which is East Africa over here. Um, well, okay, the ones where we don't have any generals, like, we need a general somewhere, so, sure, welcome aboard, and, welcome aboard, um, but then, yeah, so I don't want to, I don't want to hire more generals or promote the ones I have for right now, I want to just build up our reserves, and I'll explain that, I, I've kind of already gone over it, basically just, like, having reserves makes it easier to hold the line against stronger armies, which hopefully won't be an issue, but you never know. Uh, we have George Dewey, who in real life, I believe, I believe this is a real person. Lots of, lots of the characters in this game are real people. Um, he was the guy who, who went to the Philippines during the Spanish-American War. Speaking of, speaking of Cuba and Puerto Rico and the Spanish-American War, we'll probably try to take the Philippines too, since we're already in the area. Why not? God, this music is really getting me hyped up. We have uh, American... Tanganyika is isolated, which is over here in, uh, this would be Tanzania, so that name, I suppose, is uh, linguistically related, and it is isolated because you, uh, why are you isolated? I guess because you have turmoil because we're colonizing you, hopefully when you're done, um, that'll go away. Um... Low market access in lots of states. This is going to be a bit of a slow start to this episode because we're just going to have to go over some some stuff. Uh, you're going to need another railway. Colorado, you're going to need a railway.
Hawaii. I actually forgot about you. And we, we directly conquered you. We did not puppet you. South Carolina. And Baja California is quite low as well. What are we what are we doing in Baja California? Also, why are our plantations making such little money? Transportation is quite expensive. Why is transportation so expensive? Is that for the whole it's more expensive in the market, like, so because you don't have market access. Or it's more expensive in Baja California specifically. But it's still also just expensive in the American market in general. So why don't we take a look at our railways? We don't really have... We we could do this. We'd reduce infrastructure, which I don't want to do. Um, so we really need electric trains. Uh, or even diesel trains. This will require electric railways and the compression ignition. Compression ignition is way down there, but electric railways we could do as soon as we finish trench works. So I'll keep that in mind, although there's lots of other stuff we want to do as well. Expensive military goods. Small arms. Uh, don't like those being so expensive. We could go ahead and... Um, why, do, why do it through that? Let's do it this way. Arms industry. Well, actually, let's... Never mind. I do want to do it through here because I want to check... Uh, yeah, why don't we just do this? It's gonna use more steel, but it's not like we're not building a shitload of steel anyway. Um, we'll start there and see how that affects things. Uh, we're working on that. Unproductive trade routes. We're importing porcelain at a slight, slight, slight loss from Germany or Prussia, whatever. Um, what's the... I mean, porcelain's expensive. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that sort itself out for a minute. Coming back to you. Trade routes, states in turmoil, high tensions, and we need more bureaucracy. We need a lot more bureaucracy because we're in. We're uh, that's the more incorporated states you have, the more bureaucracy you have to spend because you have to give them all of your institutions. Blah blah blah. Once we're done colonizing, we'll be able to cut back on our colonial affairs institution, but that's going to be a while. Um, so we need more bureaucracy, which means we need to expand our government administrations. I really, really want telephone switchboards, but that's going to be so expensive because we can't produce telephones. That's another thing we're going to have to research. I'm assuming no one in the world is producing telephones because the AI is really bad at taking advantage of late game production. Um, so yeah, I would probably go telephones first because we need the bureaucracy because we're, we're, we're wasting 22% of our taxes money. We're just lighting money on fire right now. So... Um, I suppose in the meantime, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I really want there to be a, a list somewhere where I can look. Like, we don't have, none of our states are over the tax capacity, but I'm sure some are close. Uh, like, New York's about 100 away. Pennsylvania's 30 away. So I'll build, I'll build some government admin in Pennsylvania. Um... But I want a list of, like, the states that are closest to being over. That way I can build there. Um, just, the, you know, the more information you have available to you, the better. And then let's go ahead and take a peek ski over here. And uh, then we'll, we'll unpause. We basically forfeited Western Africa. I never, I mean, we didn't even, we were never here to begin with. We do have Togo and um, that's it. Yeah, that's all we have over here. So, Russia. Really? Um, why don't we take a look? We could survey a, sky, a skyscraper, which is going to cost a bunch of bureaucracy. It's not like we're not bleeding bureaucracy anyway, although that did cost us uh, a lot of money because of our tax. Look at... Okay, well, never mind. Apparently, I can't look at that. Um, yeah, we're bleeding a lot of money, but that's going to go away, I'm enjoy. Uh, the Alaska Purchase. Uh, everything's good, other than we're not at peace and Russia is not over 20, but they're they're... They're not close, but they're not that far. You know, when we several episodes ago when we started improving with Russia, they were like minus seventy three or something like that. So we're we're getting there. We actually got over twenty, and then you know we went and became a, an international pariah. Uh, I imagine this is going to be the easiest war of all time. Yeah, we have killed eighteen hundred people and lost zero. That's that's disgusting. This is going to take two years. Our investors are not investing in dye plantations because they don't care. That's okay. 
um, our, our money will jump back up once the investment pool kicks in. And this just this gives our investment pool some time to recharge. Because we'd be sucking that bad boy dry. As long as our, our, our army stays assigned to the same front that their army is assigned to, that's all I really care about. I mean, it's just, it's, it's like depressing to think about what we're doing here. So just don't think about it. Um, whoa. What was that? There was a front there, and it just disappeared. Alright, whatever. Uh, we have unlocked psychoanalysis, which, hey, minus 5% bureau uh, bureaucracy population cost modifier. So that'll help a little bit. And our investment pool is kicked in because we are now building fishing wharves, which they want to invest in, apparently. Papua has launched a native uprising against us. Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, where do we want to push? I guess we'll push, like, west to east. Uh, do we have an Indonesia army? We do, but they're permanently... Oh my god, I forgot about this. Yeah, we, we can never... For the rest of the game, we can't... And, we're, and it's costing us 2500 a week. So because of this bug, we're just going to be spending 2500 a week forever on this guy. Um, it's super annoying. Thankfully, he's young, and so he hopefully won't die anytime soon. And like, Because if, if it happened to like this general, Thomas Jackson, I would, I would lose my mind. Um, I'll have to try to remember between episodes to like try to look... And see if there's a way to way around that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and mobilize Mexico. I might I might mobilize two armies just because we have so many fractured uh, front lines here, and I'll like try to sandwich them, pushing from both sides. It's definitely not necessary. I want to make sure I grab the right guys. Um, please don't crash game, by the way. Oh wait, hold on. Did I do it wrong? I, I might have swapped them around. But that's okay. Alright. Uh, back to unpause. Great Britain is shoring up. Uh, Peru Bolivia wants a trade agreement with us. That's fine. I really want you in my customs union at some point. Although you're really mad at us because we are a pariah. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, rubber has been discovered in Mexico. That is quite nice. This, this event always comes in twos. I don't know if that's a bug or just like, uh, whatever. I also, uh, I want to mention, what are, by the way, what is the rubber situation in our market? Oil is quite expensive, but rubber is not. Motors are expensive. God, there's so much stuff. Um, okay, well, first of all, let's... I want to make sure there's nothing I can do to organic... I, it's not really organic, but, you know, just... Again, I need this stuff. I need electric engines. I think electric railways has to be our next move. Um, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and add... 10 to New York. We have an election coming up. Uh, someone mentioned on one of my videos, finally, that they, they finally explained to me how stupid I am. That I, this whole time I was complaining, uh, we have malaria prevention now, so it doesn't matter. But before, I was complaining about, wh why are we colonizing faster up here, uh, and, and in, I believe it was in South Cameroon versus the Congo. Uh, and it's because, I don't know how I missed this. I always thought it was weird that, uh, what I thought that Quinine didn't give any bonus to or do anything about malaria when that was like in reality in real life that's what quinine did in s4 is, is for helping with malaria but i just can't read remove you see i i only looked at this part because it was green and my my lizard brain only looks at the green stuff because i'm like the green stuff's the good stuff if you look down here removes all effects of malaria in your own colonies and states um so that gets rid of regular malaria and then malaria prevention which i i i will say in my defense i think it's dumb that they have a tech called malaria prevention, and they also have quinine. Those are like kind of the same. I, I know that quinine doesn't just outright prevent malaria, but there's also, I promise you, in the 1800s they weren't outright preventing malaria ever. So, but this removes severe malaria. So that's why in some states it was going faster than others. Now we have them all gone, so it doesn't matter. How are things going? Oh look, we occupied your entire country. Sorry. 
Did I do that? Swedish. The Swedes have uh, activated their interest in Persia. Congrats. France is embargoing Great Britain. Uh, the rural folk are going to obliterate this election. We have pump jacks, which is actually nice, because that means we can... We have unlocked oil rigs. Oh my god, yes. Okay, this is huge. And uh, we can upgrade all of our plantations. So we'll start looking at plantations. Um, also, first of all, why are you not on fertilizers? Second of all... So this is actually, I, I don't know that I want to do this, because it's just going to cost more engines, and it's going to get rid of jobs. But it will produce more of these items. But I would rather just build more, because these are all almost entirely in our colonies, which aren't really colonies anymore, because we're integrating them into our country. But uh, still, I'd rather, I'd rather just hire more people. So I'm not going to do this yet. That makes sense. We're using a steam donkey pretty much everywhere. I'm not going to mess with any of this right now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Even though I don't really think it's, like, not broke. It's not... Not not broke. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, now. The big boy. We only have one place right now that can support oil rigs, but it's the mother load. We, we, honestly, Texas doesn't have that many people, but we're going to get more oil. Oil will appear here. It will appear here. It will appear all over the place. It will appear here. We're going we're gonna to have we're gonna have so much more oil than the rest of the world combined. It's going to make you sick. Uh, let's start with an easy tip. Now, it's going to... Actually, it's only, we only have about 60 weeks because we have steel frame construction. War with Papa has broken out. Uh, see if I care. I guess I should have been checking to see if like anyone would join them, but I don't really know why that would be the case. And, uh, great powers don't really join. Supporting the Spanish workers. Uh, colonial uprisings. Um, we will support the workers in Spain, boosting the power of their trade unions. An excellent idea. Uh, sure. Um, by the way, our government reformed itself. They are added, uh, the, 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 the first major patch is coming out real soon. The, the final changelog is coming out next week. Part three of the Dev Diary was released today. Um, and they're redoing legitimacy in a lot of uh, very interesting ways that I think are pretty much all good. And they're going to make it so that um, ideological cohesion matters more for your government than government size, which I am such a huge fan of. I think it's maybe the best change that they've highlighted so far. Uh, but anyway, our legitimacy is not great, but it's not terrible. I kind of just want to leave things the way they are. In fact, I'm going to. I'm not, I'm not even going to look at it. What are we building right now? We're building up all of our steel mills. So that's going to make things... Yeah, we were spending over 200k earlier on steel, and now it's, it's come down a little bit, and it's only going to come down even more. Tools, by the way, what are what are what is tool prices looking like? Uh, pretty high. So let's go like something like that. Tech A. Oh, you yes. Keep uprising. Oh, what? Oh, never mind. Not if you're only like two provinces. I want you to uprise if you're if you're uh, huge. Speaking of which. Let's get started here. The game is chugging. Um, I suppose... You moved to uh, New Guinea? Sure. Y'all will all automatically move over. Okay, we have compulsory primary school, which is just more bureaucracy for us to spend. Uh, we, are, we are really... We're wasting half of our tax money. This is not good. <laughs> so I, I can't afford to, to increase our education institution at the moment. But, um, soon. It looks like it went up automatically, so that's not really good for me. Um, but let's look at what else, what other laws we could do. We have, we're pretty much done here. We're not going to go Council Republic. 
and we're not gonna go anarchy. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. Uh, I need guaranteed liberties. Who doesn't want it? The armed forces and the petite bourgeoisie. And the intelligentsia are the only people who like it, and they're not in the government. That's really annoying. We're, we might have to revisit the government. Uh, we still have our free government reform. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we want. Protected speech. We're, we're already low on authority, but... Unlocks guaranteed liberties. Oh. Okay, well... Okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so let's do this, and then let's bring the intelligentsia in, if we can. I might, I might ditch you. E I could drop the trade unions, but then, like, I don't want these... The rural folk... I don't, I don't get along. We have Dwight Carpenter, by the way, as our president. Uh... Mm -hmm. I need I need the trade unions in here to try to balance out the the, the worst instincts of the, of the rural folk. I think I just have to sacrifice four percent legitimacy for now to uh, to try to get this going. What is this? Argentina and Selknam. Okay, uh, they have a colonial uprising. I can't believe it's 1881 and you still have not finished colonizing. It's, it's pathetic. Are you are you almost done, please? Okay, we, we killed 12 people. Yes, bro! Give me all the uprisings! Oh, they backed down. Because there was, I mean, there was only a couple provinces. Trench works has been unlocked. Okay, um, so we can unlock. We can use barbed wire fences for livestock, which I don't really care about. We can un, we can use trench infantry, and we've unlocked several more technologies. Now, I want to do electric railways very, very, very badly, but we need telephones, like like you would not believe. Um, Yeah, look at it. Look at our taxes falling. What what would it cost if I just started tank like now for the next two to three years? Just tanked. It, it costs 150k. I actually feel like that's less money than I'm losing in taxes. Yeah, I'm losing more than that. So I actually think it's more cost effective for us to just yeah, and we could be saving so much money by just paying through the nose for telephones. And then eventually we'll make telephones cheaper. So you can see right now, um, it might not show up until we start moving. Oh, no, it is. Okay, we're spending 30k a month on... That's actually not... The, or a week on telephones. That's not nearly as expensive as I thought it would be. Um, so actually, I think we could afford to maybe hold off on producing telephones. I'd rather get... Uh, it's only going to take 18 months. Yes. Um... I really want both of these things, though. Now, let, let's stick with telephones, because we, we're still running a bureaucracy deficit, so I'm going to want to expand our, our government administration anyway. We are almost done building steel, mill, steel mills. Uh, you guys will move over here. Hopefully, we can just keep chaining these native uprisings. All right, New Guinea's done. And then you're on your way. Let's let's bring at least one of you over here. I'm not going to make you guys teleport because the war is not going to start soon anyway. Oh wait, did you back down? You did. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Any any more colonies? Don't mind if I do. Now I I there's so many new states we're getting. Like I don't even know what's going on over here. Like. Is there anything for me to build here? I'm sure there is, but, like, is it necessary? No, it's not. War in the mud. Uh, oh, I'm glad I saw that, because now I forgot to I forgot to switch over to trench infantry. What is this going to do? Um, we're going to need to produce significantly more ammo, which is not a problem. Uh, and it's going to dramatically pump up our defense. So this is really just to try to make sure 
if 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 a great power attacks us because of our infamy that we're able to defend ourselves i want you i mean i'm never going to conscript anyway or at least hopefully not so let's let's just do this for now um industrial ports all the way uh okay now let's look let's unpause and let's look at munitions plants papua has been annexed what it's, ammunition is so expensive why why are you not making money okay ammunition's actually not as expensive as they said it would be it's going up a little bit i guess as these barracks switch over maybe we'll see uh, we can always export but uh, are we building our government administrations please nope they're coming up we're gonna need more for sure wait what was that so uh, Fran oh Francis doing what I'm doing uh, glass and telephone. So actually, steel has dropped below the threshold of expensive. It's still expensive because we're buying so much of it. But, uh, you know, it, it's not, like, considered an expensive good. Ironclads, on the other hand, are quite expensive. And uh, we are the number one producer in the world. Well, uh, how many things are we the number one producer of? That's my question. Good God. We are the number one producer of fine art, ironclads, engines, explosives, electricity, dye, coal, rubber, oil, glass, fertilizer. Number two in luxury clothes. Number one in gold, groceries, coffee, sugar, fish. Number two in steamers, sulfur, iron, lead, steel, wine, clothes, paper, meat, liquor, tobacco, services. Number three in ammunition, small arms, transportation, fabric, and wood. We're popping. Our economy... Uh, it's not quite moonshotting, you know, the line's not straight up, but we are still going up, and we are the number two economy in the world behind France. We're catching them slowly but surely, and uh, number five per capita ahead of France. All of these other, uh, it's, it's us in France, and then a bunch of very small countries with high standard of living, so it's, it's quite impressive for us in France to be up this high per capita, it's especially considering our colonial uh, empires. Um, but all of this to say, we could we could be producing more ironclads, perhaps. Um, so I don't I don't want to forget about my. Uh... You have eighty thousand peasants, two hundred thousand peasants, sixty five thousand. We'll start with that. Um, I want to look at my munitions plants. Is there anything we could do? I guess we just need to export, maybe, our ammo. Uh, here we go. One more. You're making money. That's all I really care about. Your productivity is kind of low, but whatever. A lot of Avadi people who are from South Asia, they're Indo-Aryan, uh, are moving to Hawaii. All right, now you're not making money. Because lead is expensive. Why is lead so expensive, man? What are, what are we... It's just a never-ending... Okay, yeah, telephones are crazy expensive, but that's okay. We can, we can afford to tank it. Uh, lead. Oh, because we're building so much glass. Okay. Well. Um. That's probably a little too much. But I'm from Arkansas. I can't not build up Arkansas. It's like the only thing they have. <laughs> uh, it's literally the... They don't have a single urban building. What can we give you? We could give you the University of Arkansas. It was founded in 1871, not 1881, so it'd be a little late there. We could give you some synthetic plant, but I'm not going to do that. I'll give you some government administration. 
We need we need the bureaucracy, and you have some extra people. Let's let's pump the or dump this down to five, and I'll replace that with five government administration. Our skyscrapers come on. We got some rubber in American Lindy. Where is that, by the way? You'll have to forgive me. I'm colonizing so many places at once that I, I don't really know what's going on. Harrow have launched a native uprising against us. Okay. Okay, we have protected speech. We have faster technology spread, and we have unlocked Guaranteed Liberties, which is what we're going to get now. Guaranteed Liberties, uh, by the way, it, it increases the Home Affairs Institution Investment Max level, and um, which, which just reduces the number of people that are mad when they make less money, and increases the number of people that are happy when they make more money, uh, which is which is really good. We see where we... I've gained 600,000 loyalists in the last year, and we have, we've also gained some some radicals, mostly because we're conquering people. Um, some people because they're losing money, I mean, but way more people are uh, stopping becoming radical because they're becoming rich than the other way around. Uh, Sonora, Eleanor Frazier, who is the leader of the industrialists, yes, I, I forgot that we had a feminist in charge of the industrialists is donating a uh, university in Sonora. Why Sonora? You're not from, you're not Mexican. You're not from there. You were here before we conquered, right? Whatever, well, sure. I'm not gonna question it. Uh, we probably should build up our universities at some point as well, but I mean, we just, we have 33 weeks. Um, Italians are moving to celebs. Okay. Um, let's... I don't want to go crazy. But I'm I'm just going to put all the fives. Oh, God. I'll leave Oregon at ten because I'm too lazy to fix that. But in general, I'm going to put all the fives at ten. I'm going to leave the tens alone. Okay, actually, we need to get rid of South Carolina and uh, not do Indiana because they don't have enough people. And Oklahoma's already at 10. Okay, I'm super dumb. Yeah. Get rid of uh, South Carolina. Indiana. Did I say India earlier? <laughs> and South and uh, 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 Oklahoma. No, no. You already okay? Yeah, we're good. What are we gonna build up after this? Ooh. Oil. Well, we haven't built this yet. It should be coming up. Actually, we might have. Yeah, we we definitely did. So let's expand. Apparently, I temporarily paused it. Let's expand oil in Texas because you're still pretty expensive. Actually, no, you're not. I don't know why I thought you were. Oh, that's coffee. Why did I think that was oil? Coffee's a little expensive. Steamers are expensive, but we're working on it. Uh, Electricity is expensive, which is in New York. And then let's look at market access. And this is this is the loop. The loop de loop and pool. Alright, Texas, because we built up the oil industry, now needs a lot more railways. Um, New York, your ports surely max out, yeah. Uh, oh, port max level. Sure, thank you. Uh, our money has gone up dramatically. I don't know why it. Won't. First of all, we're making a we're officially making a million dollars a week. Our actually our income has gone down. Oh, because I paused construction somehow. I don't know how I did that. Um, let's unpause. Why, why? I don't understand. You, you're like producing nothing. Why do you need so much infrastructure? 
skyscraper was successfully completed. Our architects have identified New York in New York as the optimal site to begin construction of a skyscraper. Gentlemen, we are going to erect the tallest building in the world. The foundation alone will need hundreds of men. More if they will not work 12-hour shifts. Every day we will need to transport thousands of bags of cement into the heart of a metropolis. We must secure an immense quantity of steel that must, like Atlas, hold the weight of the world. The task ahead of us is monumental. New York gets skyscraper construction site permanently, plus 10% construction sector throughput. The United States loses the bureaucracy penalty, and we add a construction site to the Journal of the United States. All right. It's obviously what we're going to do immediately. Um, if I can find it there. Actually, what do, what do you do? You give government administration building throughput. That's actually so fucking sick. You have no idea. Um, but let's go ahead and bump you to the top, please. And Pennsylvania, you, you need more railways. Washington needs another port. South Carolina is fine. South Dakota is honestly fine too, but sure, why not? Um, Baja California, yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna let you guys chill. I'll add one more there. Pashtun. Uh, I guess these guys backed down, by the way, because I don't. Yeah, we never actually went to war. Um, let's see. Started here. We are gobbling this place up. Are you guys all integrated? No, not yet. Oh my god.